Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday, y'all. Let me share this out really quick. Welcome, welcome. Margie's popping in to help out. Good morning, my sweet. Jess is in the house. You did get notified. Awesome. Some people get notified. Some people don't. So, you know, I debated on coming on now or later. Let's just do it now. I'm taking a break from packing, getting ready for my trip. I am going to Reno, Tahoe. Uh, for a week. I'm going to try to hop on uh, sometime. I don't know what the schedule is, what we're going to do. I'm not going to worry about it. Ah, and there's Donna. Hey, everybody. Happy Saturday. Happy day before Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all us mothers, especially those single ones that have to do it all alone. Oh, thank you for the heart. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's still keeping track. I had 20 yesterday. Now it says 21. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's a new game. So anyway, uh, yeah, uh, there's four of us that are traveling together, and we're all like-minded. So it is going to be interesting on this trip. I'm going to try. I don't know if I'm going to take it or not, but I'm going to try to bring my big Tibet bowl. We'll see. We'll see. So I want to welcome everybody. Uh, happy Saturday. You can hear my wind chimes going on out there. Uh, for those of you that are new, I am an evidential psychic medium. I do bring forth details from loved ones who have passed from the other side. Could be their names, could be their ages, what happened, how they lived on earth, what's going on on earth right now. That's what I do. Uh, my goal is to bring comfort in some uh, I don't want to use the word closure because there, there's no closure. We'll be seeing them again. But some, some validation that they are still with us. How about that? And I do have some new videos about that. Um, I have um, five new videos now. Uh, the wind chimes. I love the wind chimes. And for Mother's Day, my beautiful follower, Hala, sent me a new set of wind chimes. So, isn't that neat? Um, I put them on my Instagram story and I think on my Facebook story. So anyway, welcome, welcome to all of you beautiful people, all of my beautiful moderators. Please give a wave. If I have a loved one coming through, I'm going to give you the information, okay? Oh, that's right. I was I, I guessed it on Hannah's live earlier this morning. There were several of us. I always, I went twice. Oh, that's right. I stopped in. So anyway, all of my lives here are free. I don't ever charge, but I want you to understand that they are spirit guided. Okay. I don't pick and choose anybody to give a message to. Okay. Um, so don't ask personal questions. Don't put any personal information in the chat, please, because the scammers are watching that. And then they want to reach out to you claiming to be me. This is my only TikTok, and I will never send any of you a message, okay? All right, so we've got that over with. All of you are welcome in here, but please don't bring hate, judgment, rudeness, okay? But other than that, even if you're skeptical, sometimes I'm still skeptical about things. So you're welcome, as long as you're here with an open mind and an open heart, um, there's a, um, if you scroll up to my uh, profile picture, scroll down to the bottom of the bio where it says Linktree. All my social media is there. Now, there's a link I want to talk about really quick because we have enough people in here. I want to make sure I reach everybody. It's called Code Purple. If you are having a mental health crisis, you're looking for mental health intervention, um, you're looking for resources for you, for someone else, or you're the parent of a child looking for help, Code Purple Link has 195 countries listed. Hit the link, go find your country. Please don't suffer in silence. There is help out there, okay? I also want to let everyone know that when I do my prayers before I come on to my live, I set my intent that the healing energy will flow through this live 
for anyone who needs, wants, and accepts it. So I accept the healing. Thank you. So it's all in the live. Hello, Rebecca Healing Medium. Welcome, welcome. Give a wave. Y'all make sure that you are following Rebecca Healing Medium. All my beautiful moderators, please give a wave. They also go live. Follow them. Um, okay, so I am going to clear the energy with my Tibet bowl, and then I'm going to pull us all a couple collective cards, okay? I do want to thank each and every one of you um, for the likes, for the shares, uh, for the new followers. We hit over 100,000 likes yesterday. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. Um, so I'm going to clear the energy really quick. I want everyone to just... Tell me where you're all from. Mods, everybody give a wave. So uh, this is my big brass Tibet bowl. Um, tell me where you're from. I'm in northern Arizona. I moved from Phoenix to become a volunteer park ranger. Um, I'm living the dream. And I usually feel this in my heart chakra. So tell me where you might feel it, okay? You don't have to feel it, but I usually do. There we go. Woo! It's a loud one. I love it when we get people from all over the world popping in. Yep, I feel it in my heart chakra. I've been doing a lot of heart healing. A lot of heart healing. So yeah, I still feel it in my heart. Woo! All right, there we go. Okay, I'm going to pull a couple of collective cards. Oh, before I do that, let me do this really, really quick. So you guys feel it all over the place. Um, Let me see if I've already flipped... For those of you who are new and don't know, I am an author of three books. My newest book is my newest, it's a new children's book. It is called No, No Nap. This, look at the colors. This illustrator was fabulous. So this is about my very own grandson, Xander. So Xander doesn't want to take a nap and he throws a temper tantrum. He goes in for time out. And his spirit guides show up to help him. Spirit said, it is time to write a children's book about guides and angels. Maybe that would be a good idea, making a coloring book. Maybe, maybe. Well, let me show you something, thinking of that. In the back of the book, there is a note to parents so that they can understand how our little ones see and hear and know spirit. My editor decided to add a page saying, draw who you see. I wasn't even thinking about that, but she's like, do you think we should do that? And I went, absolutely. So I'm very proud of this book. Uh, the local library took it in and they're going to be having it as a checkout. I might do a read there. Um, so I asked the illustrator, all I said was use all different cultures for the guides. Here's his main guides, Liam and Lexi. Okay. Look at that. She used those spiritual colors. Um, here he is looking up like, oh my gosh. And then they all have an aura surrounding it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So um, in the beginning of the book, I wrote him a poem when he was first born. So that's the dedication page. Okay. On the back page, more guides. So I do want to thank each and every one of you who have ordered the book, read it to either your... Children, grandchildren, nieces, nephews, and then you left me a review. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so, um, let's see. So, anyway, it is on Amazon. We've just celebrated a month of it being published. A month, okay? Um, you should show your grandson baby berries. Here they help with affirmations. Awesome, thank you. I'll have to check that out. So anyway, so here it is. Beautiful illustrations. There's another one of his guides. Here's mom with him. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. And then 
mom and dad and Xander. So, I listened. When we listen and do what we're being guided to do, we have all the support. I know that the words that I wrote in this book are channeled from God. And I know that the illustrator, uh, no, he's only 20 months old. He's still young. This book is for three to seven. But at some point when he gets older, he has, I gave him one special book to put away for later. No touchy, no looky till later. And then I gave him another one to be able to just read right, or his mama to read right now. He will be, okay? I'm sure he will. But anyway, this is three to seven. But she did some beautiful illustrations. Look at that. So um, I want to mention really quick, um, and then I'm going to pull some cards, is that if I have a loved one popping in, I will definitely give that information, okay? Um there was something else. I was just going to say this. So, oh, oh, I have a giveaway. A giveaway. Hello, my mods. For those who order the book and then leave a review by the end of the month, all of those people who have left a review are going to have their names put in to a bucket. And one of you is going to win a 30-minute session. I just wanted, I wanted to be able to celebrate this book plus you know, give a give, give a giveaway. So that's the giveaway. There is a video. Um, the Y'all, let me say this really quick. My, I have a new dancing. Thank you. I have a new, um, oh, thank you, baby berries. Look at, let me look. I'm going to follow you. I'm going to follow you, baby berries, so I can check out your, uh, your page. So, shuffle these cards. Shuffle. My newest video, I have another dance video. For those of you who have followed me for a while, you know that I've uh, encountered some new challenges. And one of the ways that I work with challenges and healing is to dance. Um, I have a brand new dance video just uploaded before I came on here. I'm going to do this like I do with all my dance videos. There is a playlist. I triple dog dare you. I triple dog dare you. Yeah, I'll follow you. I just followed you, Baby Berries. Awesome. Uh, you watched it. So, I triple dog dare anyone to duet it. It's all about healing. Dancing heals. And that's a beautiful energy exchange. When you go and watch our videos that we are, us creators, well, I would say I do create it, but I know I have a lot of guidance. Um, and so when you interact with that, that's a really nice energy exchange. Because I don't ask for any money on here. All my lives are free. For those that are new popping in, I just, it's spirit guided. All right. Um, Denise Lynn, the sacred force. So anyway, if, I triple, I'm going to do it again. Triple dog dare you. Any of my dance videos, they are in my playlist and the new one this morning. Okay. All right. So here we go. Yeah, I honor other people that pop in here, especially if they do anything for children. So I will check out your website, your uh, page when I'm done here. Okay. Follow me back and we'll find each other. All right, so from the Sacred Forest Oracle, I'm going to pull a card. And then from my very own Heart Rock deck, I designed a Heart Rock deck based on hearts that I find in nature. And when I see them, I get messages. So this is my very own deck. Yes, I'm still sold out, but I will be reordering, okay? But um, I was focused on my new children's book. So if you can't find it in the link, which if you scroll down to my link tree, it should be the first link. It'll take you right to Amazon or just Google No No Nap Pam Sears on Amazon, okay? All right, here we go. But I will be reordering my heart rocks. It's just... I am... <laughs> All this time I've been focused and put all the energy. Um, 
Ooh, you all, oh my God, wait till you see these two cards. Oh, oh. <laughs> for those of you looking for love, looking for love, here's the first card. <laughs> Wild Rose Fairy, it's all about love. Wild, oh, thank you for the Mother's Day heart. Thank you, KS. Wild Rose Fairy, love. Now, this is not just love of others. It's all about self-love, okay? But there's a lot of us out there looking for some love. Wait till you see the second card that matches. Never ceases to amaze me. Wild Roseberry, love. And remember to love yourself. Happy Mother's Day. Here's another <laughs> soulmate. <laughs> These two rocks that I found, they were intertwined. And I heard soulmate. So it says, when two souls collide, get ready. <laughs> when two souls collide, get ready. Now, I'm going to do this also for those of us that are single, not looking, we're very content. In regards to self-love, our higher selves are our soulmates. Think about that. Our higher selves. Thank you. Thank you, Esperanza. You're so sweet. We are our own soulmate. So if we focus on inner love, then we've also got to focus on our inner soulmate, our higher selves, okay? Now, let me tell you a quick story about higher selves because it's really true. But I, we could all fall in love and find that soulmate, although soulmate, we got a lot of soulmates on this earth, okay? A lot of soulmates, okay? In regards to higher self, I, I just want to say this while it's popping into my head. There's a book by, uh, thank you guys for the hearts. There's a book by Dr. Michael Newton called Journey of Souls. Um, fabulous book. I understand you can download it for free on YouTube. Um, he was a hypnotherapist that ended up unknowingly not only taking people to past lives. Thank you for the hearts, but to their counsel on the other side during sessions went back met their counsel saw their own selves on the other side so this is how this book it happened with thousands and thousands of people so here is the dealio so we decide we pick our lives it's really fascinating how in this book people came back and said oh my god we get to pick this and this and we get to pick all these people that are in our lives um so once we choose this life Okay, there's, it's pinned right up their journey of souls. Then our council says, well, how much of your essence do you want to take to earth? And what happens is our souls are so expansive. They can't fit, all fit in these meat suits. These meat suits would explode. So we take a percentage of our essence with us to this earth. And the other percent is... The other side, that's our higher self. We're on the other side guiding ourselves. So yeah, be your own soulmate. Okay? All right? Pretty cool, huh? Pretty awesome. Um, so that, in a little bit, I'm going to pull some cards by age group. So we'll get another opportunity for collective cards. So I do... Um, I want to tune in and I want to see if we have a loved one coming through or not. Uh, life shopping, like life shopping, yeah. You know, we still have free will on this earth, but there's a lot of things that we predetermine. Jobs, spouses, children, that kind of thing, okay? Yes, you can be your own soulmate. Of course you can. I happen to be my own soulmate. And when you think about it, there's really no... I don't really get into the twin flames and there's one person for 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 every for one person like we have way too many soulmates way too many it's not just limited to one soulmates are our children our friends our parents okay I don't have Catherine Katerina 
I do believe, and this is my own opinion, I do believe that we have a predetermined date that we're born and a predetermined date that we leave. Okay? Okay? What did you just write down? What quote? Um, so, you know, some of our soulmates cause us a lot of pain. You can connect at the soul level with anyone. That is correct. That is correct. Even my new grandson, Xander, is one of my soulmates. My children are all my soulmates. So, you know, I was married twice. Let me, this is funny. I was married twice to two Arthurs. <laughs> Anyway, I won't make that mistake a third time. <laughs> anyway, I've been single on my own forever. So anyway, I want to welcome everybody. Welcome, welcome. Um, I am, oh, somebody's weed eating their grass. I hope you don't hear all of that. Oh, gosh. Welcome, everybody. If you are new, let me know how you found me, okay? Did you find me scrolling through TikTok? No, no, I was asked a third time uh, on a date from a Arthur, and I was like, dude, nothing personal, but no. <laughs> anyway, there we go. Um, okay, so I do feel that there may be somebody hanging around. Okay, hello, welcome, welcome. Um, thank you all for tapping the screen. Thank you for sharing out the lives. Thank you for following me. Thank you for interacting with my new videos. I love the new dancing video, you know, and I try to dance in nature when at all possible. I'm going to be on the road. I'm going to be in Reno, Tahoe. I'm going to try to upload some videos from being out of town. I'm sure one of them is going to be a dance video, okay? Um, okay, and thank you once again before I tune in. Thank you for going and purchasing my brand new children's book, No no nap about my grandson who meets his spirit guides when he gets into trouble and has a time out. Three to seven. Hey, you know what? I know Mother's Day is tomorrow, but if anybody's going to give a late Mother's Day present to like maybe a new mom, there you go. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. If you want to read some reviews before you decide, go read the reviews on Amazon. Um, I'm going to get quiet here because I feel somebody that's trying to come through, okay? And this is how it's going to work in here. And I, like I said, I'm going to be gone all next week. I will try to tune in from the road, maybe, maybe not. Um, you must take... Whoop, whoop, hang on a minute. You must take 100% of the information that I'm going to be giving you. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. Welcome, welcome to everyone and the new people. So thank you for the hearts, y'all. For those that are popping in, I'm going to get quiet. I am going to tune in. If you think that you can take 100%, tell me and my mods how it resonates for you. If you can only take a few things, please know that that is not me directly communicating with your... Yes, I'm getting to it. Man, I've had some pushy people lately, the last couple days. Um, please don't comment about that because I, that's not me directly connecting to your loved one. But many of your loved ones are going to pop into energy and give a flyby postcard, a hi, and a bye. Okay? But to start, I'm going to ask everyone to hold your comments. It's really important, and I'm respectfully asking that because we need to find out who this belongs to. And if everyone's just typing away, typing away, it makes it more difficult. I will reopen. Um, I will reopen the comments when I'm done giving this message, and then we're going to pull cards by age groups. I want to welcome everyone, and I want to offer Mother's Day to all of you people. And you know what? I'm even going to say Happy Mother's Day to all the dads who are single dads doing full-time duty. Okay? Same thing with mothers when it's Father's Day. If you've been a single mom and you're doing both, I honor you on Father's Day. So if there's a male out there that's 100%, happy Mother's Day to you. All right.
This is the second male that's been very pushy. <laughs> so I have a male here. All right, I'm ready to give the information. I'm going to give it, and then the mods are going to repeat it. Uh, thank you for holding your comments. We don't really like to mute people, but we may have to, um, only to keep the chat clear. And we do it in love. So please don't take it personal. Um, I have a middle-aged male who was exactly a heart attack. Boom. I was not expecting it. It was sudden. Uh, no plans uh, for ever having anything like happen. So he was gone. Um, oops, thank you. Okay. There's a CH name. Could be Chuck. Charles, Chad, um, he's also talking about on the road, on the road. I don't know if he did a lot of work where he was on the road a lot, traveled a lot, but he's like on the road, on the road. He gave me the name Donna. Y'all should not be commenting. I am not done with the information, please. It's really important. And you're not going to just comment one thing. When I'm ready, you're going to tell me how you connect with everything, okay? Donna, there's a B like boy name. There's a Carol or Harold. I wasn't sure if I heard Carol or Harold, okay? Carol or Harold. Um, <clears throat> he gave me the number, he gave me November. November, thank you guys for the hearts. November is significant. November could also be the 11th because it's the 11th month. The number two, interesting. He gave me the number seven, and then I heard February. So he gave me November, then the number two, which I would say can also be February, but then he gave me February after that, so I think they're two separate, but it could be connected. And then the number seven could be July. Okay, so that is the information. Thank you all for the new follows and the likes and the shares. Um, okay, so that is the details. I want to thank you in advance for holding your comments unless you can take 100% of the details. Me and my mods, that's our goal, is to find out who this belongs to. But he's, this is the second male in two days in a row that have been pushy. So he was obviously pushy in life. Oh, he says, I got my way. I got my way. <sighs> okay, so I'm going to give the information one more time, okay? Um, you need to put as many of the details in a comment as possible. It's probably going to take you two or three comments, okay? Um, keep going, keep going, keep going. Um, and um, as much as you can put into a comment, it may take you two or three comments, okay? This is a middle-aged male. He definitely said it was a heart attack, not something he was expecting. He never would have thought that was going to happen to him. Never, okay? Um, heart attack, on the road, he said, on the road, on the road. And then he said a CH name, which I don't know if it was Chuck, Charles, Chad. Chuck seems more like it, but anyway. Donna is also connected, B like boy name. There's a Carol or a Harold, I'm not sure which one. Uh, November, which could also be the number 11. Number two, which could be February. Number seven could be July. February he gave me, and there could also be kids. There could have been two kids, seven kids. Okay, so my mods are here to help me. Thank you all for being patient. You, several of you, I think, are going to be getting uh, postcards from this. So that means this isn't your loved one I'm directly connecting to, but many of your loved ones pop in. Okay, uh, let's see. And if you can only take, like I just said, if you can only take a few things, this is not your loved one directly connecting with me. But many of your loved ones, they just got to pop into the energy and give a message. So, uh, mods, let's see. So, you got to take all the names. You got to take all the, the details of the numbers and the, the months. The fact that he was on the road is very important. Lots of postcards I'm seeing. Thank you, Dilly. Thank you. 
This is the hardest part, so thank you all for holding your comments. When I'm done here, I'm going to pull some more collective cards by age groups. I want to get this message out. The mods are already the mods have the details pinned if you're just popping in. Okay? No, no, it's not a motorcycle accident. Not that I'm aware of. He said heart attack. He passed from a heart attack. So, Angel, Rosina, um, I think you still need to do something about November. They're pinned right up at the top here, y'all. They're right there. Just a minute. I think somebody just claimed 100%. Mods. I think it was Angel, Ro Ro Angel Rosina. One of my mods said, Angel Rosina had everything but the November, and she just said that he passed away in November. Mods, can you verify? Y'all, let my mods deal with it, okay? Please and thank you. I think one of the mods said that all Angel needed was November. Just verify that for me. Oh, just a second. Angel, did you take Donna and the B name, please? Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you for the gifts. They are not necessary. All my lives are free. They're just spirit guided. So this is the hard part that takes a little longer than I would like, but that's okay. I want to reach the right person. Thank you all for the likes. Okay. You believe your step aunt was Donna? And what about the B name, Angel? Mods, can you check on Donna J? Y'all, I'll let my mods deal with it. Donna J, I, I missed every single comment that Donna might have given because I'm trying to focus here. Okay, okay, I, I don't think Angel took everything. Somebody check on Nicole. Also, Nicole said she took it all, but I don't remember seeing anything like that either with her. So that's why I ask everyone to hold your comments. Thank you all for being patient. Hello, Dana Willie Woo. Welcome, welcome. I'm right in the middle of trying to figure out who this loved one belongs to. Someone said, I only saw Donna take a few details. Okay. If you only took a few details and you can't take 100%, this is not for you. Rosina, um... So, everybody keeps saying, Donna, Donna, uh, mods, did Donna take everything? Look back. I saw a few things from Donna, Donna, but I don't know that I saw all of it. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Wait, wait, wait. 
Donna's missing some details. Okay. And then some of y'all said, I believe it's Donna. So it, what is it? Is it Donna? Did Donna miss some details? Hang on. Yeah, Dana Willie Woo is in the house. Hello, hello. Make sure, I'm going to just go ahead and ask her to go ahead and give a wave. Okay. Yeah, 80% does, there she is, Dana's giving a wave. Yeah, 80% doesn't work, okay? So Donna, Jay, they're just asking you to answer a couple of things. Thank you all for being patient. Yeah, let's just have Donna. If you answer the CH name and the two, um, no CH. Okay, then it's a postcard. Y'all, let my moderators do it. It just makes it tougher in here, okay? So Donna, that's okay. It's a postcard for you, all right? So, Nicole, oh, thank you for the flowers. Nicole, hey, y'all, please just hold your comments, okay? Uh, to Madre, keep going. So, Donna, no, Angel Rosina's a postcard. Nicole, um, mods, Nicole took a few things also, because I also wrote down Nicole with a question mark. I want to finish this message. I feel drawn to Nicole. Hello, Lorinda Car Medium. Mods, I feel drawn to Nicole. I don't know for sure, but I feel drawn. I'm just scrolling back for a moment. Mods, I haven't heard you um, say anything. I'm gonna talk to um, I'm gonna talk to Nicole. Nicole, first of all, will you give me consent? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start with Nicole. Mods, um, N I C H O L E. Please give me consent, and then we're gonna go from there. We have seven kids. Okay, Nicole, give me consent. This may not be for you, but I'm drawn to you. Okay, so it would be Carol or Harold, Carol or Harold, Nicole. Harold was a friend. Okay, perfect. Okay, um, let me just ask, um, Nicole, do you want to go live or do you want to just, um... Do you want to go live or do you just want to talk about it here? And mods, keep looking. There may be somebody else who's going to be claiming a lot that would be getting beautiful postcards. Okay. Carol was his aunt. Okay, thank you. Thank you. You took Carol and Harold. All right, perfect. All right, so just let me know. If you want to go live with me, do the guest request and I'll bring you all. Thank you, Jess. Otherwise, I'm just going to finish giving this information. Um, that's fine, Nicole. Want to talk here? That's fine. There was a recent storm, he said. A recent storm that was a doozy. Thank you all for holding your comments. We found someone, okay? I'm talking with Nicole Cossie. 
Um, a recent storm that he said was a real doozy. Do you understand that, Nicole? Okay, thank you for that validation. Okay, that's a validation that they're there and they watch what goes on, but this is real recent and it was a doozy. Okay, I don't know if it was near you. Um, he's also showing me a band. So is there somebody who would have been in a band, like singing band, country band, rock band, um, trees fell in the yard, flooding the septics. Okay, thank you. Yeah, he said it was a doozy. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Unless there is a place that you... Yes? Okay, who was in the band, Nicole? Who was in the band? Thank you all for being patient. I want to I wanna finally get this message across so that we can move forward. My cousin was in a band and he passed away. Okay, this this middle-aged man may be bringing him along with him. Okay, that I would have be surprised. Okay? Okay, um, is this cousin who passed connected to this male figure? My uncle was in a band. Okay, so now you got an uncle that was in a band and a cousin? Okay, you got two of them. Is there a connection to the cousin that was in a band or the uncle that was in a band and this male figure? Because he seems to have brought them through. And one of them had some kind of addiction issues. Thank you all. And if we've missed you because you think you took 100%, it took us a while to find this person. Just sit back and listen to the message and know that it was for you. Yes, his name was Bubba Felt. Bubba Feltz. They were friends. Okay. Not not the middle-aged man, but the other person, the other male that's with him had addictions. Yes, Bubba was addicted to drugs. Okay, perfect. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Um, this is funny. Is there somebody learning to drive? Is there somebody learning to drive? And having difficulty. I think either somebody, yes, our 15-year-old daughter. Okay. I, it's so funny. You know what he's showing me? He's showing me a roundabout. A roundabout. Have you taken your daughter? So she's 15 years old learning to drive, I think. And they're showing him, he's showing me a roundabout and he's laughing. Is there something about a roundabout that you're trying to show and teach her? <laughs> that is so funny. And he's laughing. He's laughing. If, if you have, you, yes, okay. You understand the roundabout? Thank you. That's what he's laughing about, is the roundabout. Okay, so another validation that they watch what goes on on Earth. I love that. <laughs> oh, um, it's like, I see all. I see all. Uh, this Janet, this is a, a, a loved one that's come through for Nicole. That's who I'm talking about, okay? Okay. Uh, I have a connection here and I'm giving a message from a loved one. He's like, I see all. Now, sometimes when they come through like this, it's how they were on earth. He's like, I see all. Like he's got his eyes on you. Do you understand that? Thank you all. I'm almost done relaying this message. I'm going to pull cards by age groups. I promise, I promise. Yes, he always did. Okay. Um, you know, I'm asking if he has a particular message, um, and the only thing, and he's still cracking up, the only thing, <laughs> you need to chill out, he would know before you could tell him exactly. He's saying chill out in regards to the driving and teaching the daughter to drive. Chill out. Have some patience. Patience. 
Um, I think that's funny as hell. I mean, sometimes they come through with real serious messages, and sometimes he's like, you need to chill out and relax a little bit. You, you do understand, okay? That's his main reason for popping in, just so you know, okay? Um, <laughs> all right, and I don't know if it's him, you. He's always talking about waving at everybody, always waving, always waving. Like I have a neighbor every time I go by, he's always waving. So that's, I don't know if it was him, but he's talking about always waving. Do you understand that, Nicole? Thank you all for being patient. I'm almost done here. Always waving. So I think he was a friendly dude. I mean, he's friendly now. I'm pretty sure. Sometimes they come through and show us how they, yes, I do, and so would he. Okay, there you go. Perfect. Perfect. You see, he's kind of gotten quiet. Now, I will do my best to download this and upload it to the tube. For today's date, May 13th, um, sometimes I can do it the same day. Sometimes it takes a day or two. Nicole, I want to thank you. Yes, he was very friendly. Very friendly dude, yes. I want to thank you for coming into the live. Comments are back to being open. Thank you for being here, Nicole, and having this happen. Um, I'm, I get excited when we have loved ones popping in. As, well, yes, he was definitely pushy at the very beginning when I came on here. I'm like, let me get some announcements done and over with. Um, so I, I love it when they come through with those kind of personalities, okay? Um, so, yeah, it may give me a couple of days, but I'll do my best to upload it. You're welcome, Nicole. You're welcome. That was fun. So I'm going to get a swig of my water, and then I'm going to pull cards by age groups, okay? Everybody's going to get a card by age group. They are, see, they are around us, B. That's why I love it when they can pop in and talk about, oh, I saw that. Oh, that's going on. In his case, he's watching <laughs> He's watching someone being taught how to drive, and he's like, oh, God. Anyway, they are around us. I have some videos that talk about that. All right, so I'm going to get a swig. Thank you for the new follows. He comes in a lot when I need to hear. There you go, Nicole. From the Soul Trees Oracle deck, I'm going to pull. Don't you love knowing your family's with you? Absolutely. Now, I got it covered. I don't need your ages, okay? And thank you, Nicole. And for those that have popped in that are new as I was giving that message from a loved one, here is my brand new book, No, No Nap, about my grandson Xander who has, he's in a timeout because he doesn't want to take a nap and he threw his toys. His spirit guides and his spiritual team show up to help him. Fabulous. Uh, my illustrator was fabulous. Look at this. Now here's his main guides, Liam and Lexi. But all I asked her was to have all the guides from different cultures, okay? There's even a part in the back for parents to understand that our we one see here, excuse me, and no spirit. And then there's a little page. Talks about uh, draw your spirit guide. Draw who you see. So um, you got that for your granddaughter. Aw, thank you. Excuse me, boy, that water gave me the hiccup. So I do have a giveaway. Uh, for those who have ordered the book and they leave me a review, Everybody's name's going into a hat. Somebody's name is going to be drawn the end of May for a free 30-minute mediumship session. In my, in my link tree, scroll down, the very first um, link is my No No Nap. It takes you right to Amazon. Or you can Google No No Nap Pam Sears. All right, so if you are 18 to 30, here we go. Oh, I got the hiccups. I can't believe it. Moderators give a wave. All my beautiful colleagues that are in here give a wave. If you are 18 to 30, this is for you. And thank you for watching all my new videos. 
the one this morning. Please go dance with me. Um, Dancing Heels, I do dancing videos all the time because that's how I heal. So I triple dog dare any of you to do wet any of my dance videos. All right, here we go. 18 to 30. Soap Trees Oracle Cards by Allison William Yee. Healing. This age group is being encouraged to allow the healing to flow. Allow the healing to flow through you. However, with my healing, it was so um, intense, excuse me, the hiccups, so intense that I needed therapy and it helped me a lot from the trauma as a child. So however that healing works for you, do it, okay? Be open to healing. Uh, I'm trying to read in between the hiccups. Oh my gosh, 31 to 50, here we go. This is your card. awakening this it, let me get a swig of this maybe this will help you're having a spiritual awakening this age group they're quitting their mundane jobs they're starting new projects they're they're wanting to work for themselves they're just wanting to do things different than they've done before a lot of them are having this spirit. I did drink some more water. Um, that was 31 to 50. 51 to 70. I haven't had hiccups in forever. Hang on a minute. All right, 51 to 70. This is your card. I am in this age group. Let's see what we got. Awakening. Even, <laughs> even though I've been working on my spiritual awakening for a long time, we never stop growing. We never stop learning. I feel that I am stepping into something new, but I don't know exactly what it is. Okay. Awakening. Look at that matches some of that. We're also having an, <laughs> oh my gosh. One time I had somebody that wanted to help me with my, with my hiccups. And he said, close your eyes. And what all he did was he took a pen and our pencil, he was doing something here and I couldn't tell what he was doing. And I was so focused on it. My hiccups went away. <laughs> anyway. All right, so, y'all, everyone's getting collective cards. Now, 71 all the way up to the oldest living person on earth, who is Maria Brañas Moreira. Sorry, guys. I don't know if I could hold my breath. She is 116 years old. So, for 71 all the way up to Maria, who's 116, this is your card, Okay. I don't even, I don't drink juice though. All right, so for this age group, focus on your first chakra, the root chakra. It resonates to the color red. This is about getting grounded. This is going out in nature. Uh, wear, wear red. Uh, get yourself a red stone. Um, get yourself grounded by going out in nature. Going out in nature. That's the first chakra. That's the root chakra. Get yourself rooted into the earth. Um, I'll tell you what. I got a surprise for my moderators because I'm going to pull a card for all of my moderators. I don't do that in here, but I'm going to do that, okay? <laughs> That's funny, Margie. All of my moderators, they work so hard. They're like my soul family, and sometimes it's tough in here. Um, this is for you. You from the dreamer's journey. Didn't work. So all my beautiful moderators, this is a card for you. I love you. 
All right, moderators, here we go. Moderators, y'all are overwhelmed. Overwhelmed with stuff. Overwhelmed. Thank you guys for your uh, encouragement. I'm overwhelmed. Inner turmoil, stress. N nurture your energy. Nurture your energy. You know, we're still in that Mercury retrograde until tomorrow it goes forward. But you know what? Those of us that are overwhelmed and stressed. And, you know, we can be overwhelmed with good stuff. We can be overwhelmed, stressed from good stuff. But it, it's still a stress. So this is for my mod. Ooh, thank you. They asked me to pull the mods another card. All right. Oh, sorry, guys. All right. From my very own deck. Here you go, mods. Here you go. Moderate. Protection. While you're overwhelmed and, and stressed, you are protected. You are surrounded and protected by your angels. Okay? Remember, you are... Sorry, guys. You are protected. All right. So, whew. Y'all. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, I have to go and finish my packing. I wanted to come on here quickly uh, to say hello, to bring, hopefully bring forward a loved one, which I did. Talk about my new children's book. Please go Google No No Nap on Amazon. It has only been out for a little over a month. I am very proud of this. It is about my grandson Xander meeting his spirit guides. A book that was needed, a book that was needed. So all of you, here is Wow. All right, before I can pull a final collective card, here we go. Mothers, mothers, all those who are mothers. All of you who are mothers, this is for you. Transition. This is for Mother's Day for all you mothers. Transition. Natural progression of change, realignment, and release. Mothers. Some of you may be empty nesting and transitioning into whatever. This is for all you mothers. Happy Mother's Day. Yes, yes, I am. If as long as there's no tech issues, I will post this on my tube. Yes. All right, so now here we go. Here is a final collective card to focus on for the weekend. For the weekend. Inner calling. You're welcome. Inner, inner calling. An internal shift. Awakening to a greater sense of purpose. This is all of us. Focus on that this weekend. We're all experiencing changes right now. Spiritual changes. We're in this retrograde. Things are happening. Inner, oh, thank you, Esperanza. Oh, my, thank you for that gift. So, an internal shift is happening. Okay? Inner calling. Don't fight it. What's that phrase? Don't fight the feeling. Don't fight the feeling. So, um... I don't think I'm coming back on tonight unless somebody's live and asked me to come on. I'm going to go and finish packing, straighten up the place for the dogs, dog sitter to show up, uh, get her room ready. So thank you all for the new follows. Thank you all for the likes. 50, 55,000 likes. Thank you. And we're leaving sometime tomorrow on the road. I will do my best to try to show up um, on this trip. Uh, somewhere I'll just pop up and go hello um, same thing with the tube I know I won't be on there Monday because we'll barely be getting in Monday night I'm going to try for Wednesday I can't promise for all of you thank you for watching my new videos P please go watch my new one this morning dancing heels that's a goal of mine let's get it all dancing and healing and thank you thank you for 
Googling my new book. I love you all. Mods, thank you. I hope I missed. And I'll see you when I can, okay? Take care. Remember, be kind to others, but also include yourself in that, ki in that kindness, okay? You are so welcome. Take care, everybody.